Former Baroka coach Mr. Tobejane once said, Football can kill you sometimes, and unfortunately, this is our third edition of former PSL players who are currently down and out financially. Welcome to Football Navigator as we take a look at PSL players who are currently broke. But before we resume, please take your time to like this video as well as sharing it across all soccer fanatics. First on our list of PSL players who have lost their world is a former Mamilodi Sundowns and Bafana star Joel Fire Masilela who is now dead broke and blames alcohol. The former player revealed to Football Navigator that he drank all his money. He confessed that he never invested the money he accumulated while playing soccer but spent it all on booze and entertaining his friends. The former Mamelody Sundown star has nothing at the moment having failed to even buy himself a house while the days were still rosy. Bennett Chenene says he got broke and decided to go back to football. Popular former Orlando Pirates player said that he suddenly realized that his money had run out after he tried different businesses but ended with nothing. In a bid to raise funds, Chenene signed for Ivory Coast side Williamville Athletic Club as the highest paid player at the club. The player confessed although he was the highest paid player in Ivory Coast, his salary could not elevate him from being broke. One can only imagine how embarrassing it was for John Muayti when his wife was arrested for stealing a cell phone. The former Bafana Bafana captain's wife was detained in police cells for two nights and it is said that his wife had to remain in custody while John Muayti struggled to gather 3,000 rands bail money to rescue his wife. Now this was confirmation enough to Football Navigator that the former Bafana Bafana captain has now hit his all-time low. Retired footballer Dumisa Ngobe's financial struggles came to light when the former Bafana Bafana star suffered a stroke. According to close sources, Orlando Pirates was forced to pay Dumisa Ngobe's medical bills as the player's financial constraints continues. Ngobe continues his recovery and he has revealed that he can now walk and talk as his life slowly gets back to normal. Football Navigator would like to wish Dumisa Ngobe a speedy recovery. Former Mamelodi Sundowns and Liberian footy star Anthony Lafour's financial struggles surfaced after two banking groups applied for default judgment against him at the Johannesburg High Court. In the court papers that were leaked on social media, Lafour was granted a loan by FNB in 2018 when he purchased a 1 million rand Ford Everest. The flying winger was expected to pay over 12,000 rands per month over 69 months. The player is said to have breached the agreement and was over 90,000 rands in areas when the banking giants took him to court. Lafour is also said to have taken a 2 million rands loan from Nedbank which has or which he was supposed to pay 22,000 rands for over 240 months but it has also surfaced that he is failing to pay the installments and he is in areas as he last paid the bank in October 2020. 